Hey what's going on guys welcome back to the monster video so in today's video I'm back with our monster review in today's video we've got Maltius the exclusive bounty on monster I'm going to be doing a review on this monster rank 5 so you'll see this monster in action and I've already done an analysis on this guy so if you haven't checked out the analysis make sure you check it out but today you're going to be seeing him in action and I hope you guys are excited to see that so if you are drop a like to help the YouTube algorithm and also subscribe to the channel with notifications on but anyways guys let's go on and get started as you can see we've got Maltius TS rank 5 level 150 so I want to give a huge huge um, shout out to one of my team members Cookie he actually went ahead and let me borrow his account to review this monster for you guys so huge shout out to him once again um, but anyways we've got Maltius rank 5 here and I've already told you guys the how the stats are on my analysis but I'm going to mention this once again in case you didn't watch it the power and life it's amazing, okay? Uh, comparing it to the growth of monsters, he has an amazing um, power and also life. But speed speed could have been better. It's about average, honestly, comparing it to the growth of monsters. Um, so the speed could have been better. But um, yeah, the only really good things about the stats are just the power and life. The speed, once again, it could have been better. But it's not that bad. It's average, okay? Uh, but anyways, evolving traits. Now this right here is what amazes almost everybody. So you got Artifact, which is one of the best traits I have. You also have the Fugitive Hater Season 5, so you can basically have triple damage against monsters with the Fugitive trait in Season 5. Um, and besides that, you also get True Vision at rank 1. Okay, so True Vision at rank 1. And then lastly, at rank 3, you get a Status Caster Area Ignite. So in the beginning of battle, you'll basically apply Ignite to every single enemy um if they're immune to torture it won't land if the if there's a megaton then that megaton will take the area ignite um and there will be just a single ignite okay it's not going to be tripled or anything like that so all that it goes towards the megaton monster and you'll see lots of megatons especially on uh, pvp and stuff so yeah the ignite will just go towards it but if there is no megaton monster in battle uh the ignite will be applied to every single enemy of course all right so here are the four skills that he went with and let's take a look at them one of them is a metal element it is a very heavy metal damage to one enemy applies burn and ignite to one enemy 25 percent chance of killing an enemy five percent chance of it being a boss so this one's actually pretty pretty um what's it called popular many players run it because of that 25 percent chance of killing the enemy and of course it's just a nice skill overall you're applying two tortures right and also you're dealing very heavy metal damage um so that's just a metal element while he's a fire monster that makes sense so it's nice it comes in handy having that in there it comes in handy you also have greek fire which is a heavy fire damage to an enemy applies burn to an enemy this one you're probably asking like why is he running it well here is why i see it right now it is because of the zero stamina zero cooldown so it's a spammable skill you can spam it as much as you want it's a heavy fire damage you can continue spamming it and it's actually pretty accurate too look at that <laughs> actually almost every well actually these two are super accurate but these one this one's a this one's not so accurate oh my gosh that, that this one's not that accurate either you see that all right, anyways, so let's take a look at this Bash skill. This one removes shield from one enemy, deals heavy metal damage to one enemy. It's another spamble skill. I'd recommend just running one spamble skill, whichever one you want to go with, but running more than one, I don't know about that. Uh, Fires of Pompeii. Okay, so apparently this one, it is a Earth skill it's an aoe one and apparently it deals moderate earth damage to all enemies applies quicksand and ignite to all enemies so you're applying two tortures now this one's actually a bit different not because of the element but because you're applying quicksand this one applies burning so quicksand burning whichever one you want to go with um, if the enemy is immune to burning you can just use the quicksand and ignition you know what i mean and if the enemy is yeah whatever i mean if they're immune to burning and ignition like motor jack or something you could just use this one and just apply that quick tank for example you know what i mean uh but anyways the ultimate it's called vulcan and mars it applies vulnerable to all enemies applies fire weakness to all enemies deals insane fire damage to all enemies applies ignite to all enemies this is a amazing ultimate um it is almost impossible to survive this anyways let's take a look at the um other skills all right this one right here it heals all allies by 25%, applies a 50% life shield, and a 50% damage mirror to all allies. I recommend running this. You can help out your other two monsters in your team. Unfortunately, he won't receive any of that. Maybe just a heal, and that's it. Um, the other two, it won't land the damage mirror and the shield because of his artifact trait. Okay? 
of his artifact trait unless he's trait disabled so yeah i recommend running this though so i'm gonna run it over greek fire for now all right i, I definitely need this so i'm gonna keep that and we got this now let's see what else we have we got exploding ballista it removes shield from all enemies deals heavy fire damage to all enemies applies burn to all enemies so i, I feel like this one's really nice i'd probably run this over that i know it's a spamble skill but this one's an aoe and you also apply that torture or not yeah that torture burning so it comes in with a torture you also have this 50 percent life shield to all allies applied double damage to all allies now i don't really recommend running this honestly because he's going to be your attacker right unless you're not going to be running him as an attacker maybe you're going to run, run him as a supporter because he does have two support skills one of them being is this right which heals all allies and also applies those shield and damage mirrors this one right here applies 50 percent life shield and double damage so those two are the only one and i guess you can use his other skills that remove shield as sort of like a support type of skill if that makes sense uh so if the enemy is um like mouse run or something uh, you take it a first turn with full speed i guess you could just remove their shield and that's all you could do but i mean that's really up to you 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 might as well just go with the 50 percent um, damage and medium shield in the beginning and stat then um but yeah it's kind of weird think about it but uh, he's gonna be your main attacker many players are gonna run him as an attacker for sure so you don't really need this because you're you you can't gain that medium shield and double damage due to his artifact trait keep that in mind so this battle skill let me see it applies uh quicksand to all enemies and it deals moderate earth damage to all enemies deals moderate earth damage to all enemies applies quicksand and ignite keep this one keep the one that applies sea torches not this other one i know this one uh, has such a high stamina cost and high, has such a high cooldown, but I'd, I'd rather go with this one. But if you want to go with this one, you can. You also have these two spamble skill once again, skills. Uh, you can go with whichever one. So he's fine against cooldown activation, which is nice. Uh, which is the bounty hunt monster, the free one. So it's nice that he has some spamble skills. So if you want to run those, you can. Um, but right now, since not too many players have the free bounty hunt monster uh viatrix not they, they don't have it maxed out and stuff uh you might as well just run no cda or no zero cooldown skills basically okay until you see many players running that monster uh either on pvp or whatever it is and you know then you can go ahead and run at least one zero cooldown skill and you can swap it with whichever skill that you want to swap it with uh, but in my opinion, I feel like these four right here are the best to go with, okay? So, if you want to go with these four, you can. If you want him to be a pure attacker, you can go ahead and run this AOE quicksand or one of the zero cooldown skills over this right here. But I feel like having this right here will come in handy, so I'm going to keep this, alright? But anyways, so there are many ways to ruin this mythic monster. Um, one of them being is the triple strength. You can also do two strength, one speed. You can do one strength and two speed. You can even do uh, one strength, one speed, and one life. So like a rainbow setup. You can even do uh, like one team speed, one speed, and one strength. It's kind of weird, but there are many ways to ruin him, okay? This monster, you can go ahead and ruin him up in many different ways, okay? So that's, it's really good. But I think what I'll do, I feel like I should go with like, he doesn't have a spirit level 10. He should. I actually saw this right here. I'm going to go ahead and take this and I'm going to swap it with one of these other ones. Like for example, you. I'll go ahead and swap this. And let me see if you have any mutant level 10s. I hope you do. You should have some. Come on, you're in team spirit. Wait, maybe I missed out on it. Maybe it's on top. Yeah, you sh definitely should. Wait, what the heck? Okay, I'll take, I'll take your spec one. I'll take those two. It's okay about the other one if it's not mutant or not. Um, but anyways, if you do have mutant runes, hey, that's even better. Uh, but yeah, once again, since this monster is lacking on speed a little, not too much. His speed is average, but it could have been better. They just didn't want him to be too OP, I guess. Uh, so you can go with at least one speed just so that this monster is not super slow okay um so yeah i'm gonna go with one speed and two strength that's how we're going to ruin this mythic monster uh but anyways let's take a look at the relics so for relic slots you have sword you have shield and you also have an obscure talent so here's the thing 
for a sword you can go with laser beam sword how you see it already right there you can also do wingsuit sword you can even do cane sword okay um but those three are literally the best three that you could go with you can also do i guess lord nebuchadnezzar's sword you know but this monster doesn't have any nightmare skills so it's really up to you if you want to run it um but anyways for shields here's where i recommend you can give wangsu shield you can do Ethereum shield you can even do fullman's shield um and tenacity shield also works out and lastly vanos shield i feel like vanos would be best because you're not just gaining armor right you're also going to increase um this monster's strength as well so, and since i'm gonna be running it as an attacker right uh sort of almost a pure attacker i'm gonna need that so i'm gonna take the vanos shield and keep it there and for obscure talent there are about three that I could go with, uh, that I could name. Vanishing Touch, The Spilling Fist, and Arnold Assault. So those three would work best. If you have anything like Smite, I guess you can go with it. Yeah, um, but if you have Arnold Assault, once again, that is like literally the best to give. So if you have Arnold Assault, go ahead and equip it. Um, but anyways, so we saw the relics, we saw the skills, and runes, stats, rates. Let's go on and take it to battle now. Alright, so I ended up uh, pairing it up with these two mythic monsters. So I have Frozzy that's going to take in a first turn, remove Father status effect, but in this battle there's no Megaton, so I guess um, I'll probably do Alien Plague or something, I don't know. Uh, but I have my Megaton monster on the side, so you can use any of the three Megaton, the corrupted ones that uh, relies on self buff. Uh, so it'll really help out. So for example, Maelstrom, Olifanatic, and Kenry, if you have those three, go ahead and pair it up with this mythic monster. Um, so anyways, we've got uh, the vulnerable. I can basically make them vulnerable, and that'll help this monster out. We also got the alien plague, which um, actually applies two random elemental weakness and also removes positive status effect. Now, the two random elemental weakness, that's actually good for him since he has multiple element skills, okay? So anyways, let's go ahead and hit you with the alien plague. So we got Metal Weakness and what else? That was just it. Oh, I see Tundra Weakness. But Tundra doesn't really matter. Um, all, mat all that matters is that, uh, what's it called? The Metal. And I think I'm running a Metal skill if I'm not mistaken. I hope I am. Maybe not. I think that was a zero cooldown that I... Oh, I have it. Take a look at this. Thanks to that um, the Metal Weakness from Frozy Knot, I can actually go ahead and one-tap this root jaw. Look at that. Metal weakness. Basically, it makes the enemy very weak against metal attacks. Same with uh, families there. So you see how both of them are so... Like, it's so strong against them. I'm going to go ahead and eliminate you. Alright. And we got rid of them. Let's go ahead and hit... Oh, positive effect block. I could go with that. Or, guess what? I can also make one of them vulnerable. Helping this monster out once again. Since this monster is going to be our attacker here. Pain the Siller. Ouch. Shock blocked. So you see how this monster tried applying shock? It was blocked thanks to his artifact trait. And that also blocks out um, any denial or any control. Um, what's it called? Status effects. You'll see it later on in this video. Throughout this video. Uh, let's see. So right now it looks like some of my monsters need some heal. And also we can just give them shield and damage mirror. And let's say this was a serious battle here. I could have went ahead and healed myself. And basically everybody. And applied shield and also the damage mirror. So you guys just saw the shield didn't apply. Same with the damage mirror because of his artifact trait. But you can uh, at least heal yourself. So that's good. As long as you can get something out of it, you know what I mean? And then, of course, your other two allies will get um, the most out of it. You know, like... Anyways, so... Oh, look at this. Thanks to that vulnerable that I applied earlier. Look, this skill and also this one deals so much damage. We're gonna hit you with the exploding skill. 340k damage against this family, guys. 340k. So, um, a lot of you guys are probably questioning, is this monster worth it? Here's the thing, let me give you my opinion. Um, if you have purchased the past Growth of Monsters, and like I'm talking about the Bounty Hunt ones. Now, someone actually uh, made a good point, and I'd like to bring that up right now. Here's the thing. You guys know how they release, you know, these uh, monsters, these uh, fugitive killers, literally every month for $100, bring fives. Uh, from here on, it, it literally just feels like we're paying a bill or something, okay? And honestly, if you are rich, then go ahead and, I guess, spend on it and get it. 
But if you're not, just don't do it. These monsters are only going to be worth for maybe a couple of months the most. Some of them get outdated in like less than a month. So it's really up to you if you want to purchase it or not. Uh, on my main account, I actually... Or on my MG account, I went ahead and not purchase it. I'm going to skip on this one because, once again, he actually made a good point. And I had to think about that. And I was like, you know what? That's actually kind of true. And I was thinking about not purchasing it, even though if he didn't actually wrote, write that comment, whoever it was. Um, but, again, he made a good point. Anyways, we can... Let me see what we could do. We can heal ourselves. Play it safe. Shall we do it? And then Frozzy, let me see. You have double damage there, but you do have to charge up. Yeah, so let's go ahead and heal ourselves and also apply the mirror damage and also the shield. Mud body kicked in. Mud body back. Mine dealt more damage. Alright. And let's see what we can do here. Alright, so we could go with this one. Apply a positive uh, block. Or block positive. Same thing. Let's see what happens here. Okay, you want see curse was blocked. That torture was blocked as well. Nice. Okay, both of you guys are dead. No problem. And let's see what we can do here. So we can go ahead and remove positive status effects. But everything is gonna go towards the tank, so let's go ahead and do it. And now that it's this monster's turn, I uh, remember I'm running on routing assault, so I can do something like this, and it'll give me an extra turn. Right? So let's go ahead and do it. Just like that. And I'm hoping you're not running. Okay. A zero stamina, a zero cooldown skill. Hey, <laughs> Mud Body just helped me out there. Nice. So here's what I'll do I'll hit you with this. Gain an extra turn so that it's okay if uh, the anti kicks in. You're going to take damage from that. Sin Eater? Okay, I guess not. There's one more use of Sin Eater. And unfortunately, a mud body is gone. I'm gonna have to charge up since I'm not running any zero cooldown, zero stamina skills, which kind of sucks. And I think I messed up. Yeah, I could have played it better. I sh you know what? Maybe we should run at least one zero cooldown skill with zero stamina in case if something like that happens. And also, if you're going to use this monster in Grand Master Duels, I highly recommend running at least one of these skills, uh, either the bash skill or the fire, free fire, one of these two, because lots of players run Wangsu. And it's super, super annoying when you get stamina drain. So you have something at least to use, okay? So you can use whichever one you want. Uh, this one removes shield and then deals heavy metal damage. And this one just deals heavy fire damage and also applies burn. Um, I think what I'll go with, this one's a little more powerful. You see that? I'm going to go ahead and go with that over, let me see. So I need that. I need this skill. Maybe this one. We can. Yeah. Let's go ahead and run that over that. So there are many skills to choose from. Lots of and lots of uh, skills to choose from. So let's see what we got here. I am going to remove positive status effects and also apply two random elementals to you. So that's a metal weakness and a dark magic in nature. So all we need is that metal, right? All we need is that metal. Let's see how much damage we can actually deal this um, monster now. This cosmic Shelly. So look at that. That metal takes him takes Shelly down. This one, it's a zero cooldown, zero stamina. It's a fifty percent power, by the way. So if I use this, look at this. My UA will kick in, eliminate, and give me an extra turn. And now I kind of want to use my twenty five percent chance of killing the enemy skill. I want to put this into tests. Let's do it. It actually killed them. 20% chance it went ahead and killed the monster. Holy, you guys saw that? Let's go ahead and use our ultimate now, I guess. Why not? We got vulnerable, total blind, damage, reduction. Let's just charge up. It's Spectra we're facing, so we gotta charge up. Let's go with that. And I am going to... I don't need any support here, I guess. Maybe him a little, but... We're going to win this anyway, so I don't really need it. We got Fires of Pompeii. This one applies to Tortures once again. It's a 40% AoE. And let's go ahead and hit this monster with it. See, that vulnerability actually helps a lot. So if you have Frozy Knot, Frozy Knot is actually a good monster to pair 
it's been taken up with, okay? Because you're here. There are a couple of skills. This one right here, Alien Plague. This one's really, really helpful. You also have the... Where is it? Okay, these removal pods or status effects also comes in handy, but there's this vulnerable skill right here. You see these two vulnerable skills? Literally, actually, all four of them are really good. It'll help out uh, this mythic monster. But mainly the first three, of course. Okay? So, those two monsters together, it really works out. And also, any Megaton, Crotho Megatons, uh, such as Kenray, Mouse Run, and uh, Elephanetic, all three of those will be a good pair with Maltius. All right? But um, yeah, there goes that review on Maltius. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, drop a like and also subscribe to the channel with notifications on. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.